Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw, Winston. Out to the right here to Wilson. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. A gain of 11 on the play. First down, Bill. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Winston. And this is going to be incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there. But it'll be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Play fake, Winston. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. Geno Atkins picks up his second sack of the afternoon. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. The Bills on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and 16. Here's Winston. And Winston lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. 12 yards on the return that time. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10. They started on the ground with Eckler. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 38 yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and 10. Hey, we got 
Mike, number 53. Here's Jackson operating from the gun to the right side, and he's got Edelman. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Well, they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Mike 54. Mike 54. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Jackson. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brandon Cooks. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Giants are going to jump back in front. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now 17-14. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. with C.J. Procise. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Chubb. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try to throw now. Winston. Over the middle here to Wilson. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. The Bills on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. It's a first down following a gain of three. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best one on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were.
lady. Blue lady. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Okay, double, double. Hey, Winston now to throw on first down. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10, down at the 33. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding call. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Jameis to throw it. And to the left side here, Wilson. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. The Bills on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and five. To the air again with Winston. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. Boy, what a turnaround. They exited the lockers with a nice lead. this what's happened so when you start to write your novel you'll start out with it was a tale of two halves won't you right, but i'm a bad writer <laughs> i don't know exactly what happened because sometimes teams can go in with a lead and get too comfortable too relaxed and a couple of things go wrong and it's hard to get back that good feeling here's the first carry for Bo scarborough and he's going to be taken down shy of the five yard line the tackle will be credited to jake ryan a tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in. Even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line, they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try and move forward. It's Scarborough again, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And 
And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They begin this drive with Chubb. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Winston. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. Geno Atkins in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Winston. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Incomplete. Both players were there offensively and defensively, but it falls incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. It's Eckler again. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. Now a toss play to Eckler. A gain. Sales runs to the edge. We think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Here we go. 
Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Jackson will look to throw it. Over the middle, Dorsett. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Philip Dorsett, his second touchdown on the season. There the Giants are able to grow their lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now Winston. And he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. Room here to run. A big play there on the catch and run. 56 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Mike 52, Mike 52. From the gun, Winston. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. we get you reset and let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over again it's Winston and it's intercepted at the goal line picked up by Josh Jones and he will bring it out past the 20 yard line stills the intended target well, they needed the touchdown and the two-point conversion, but they're not going to get a shot at either. This is a great play here defensively, Brandon, and at a time that they sorely needed one. And that could be enough to help get them out of here with a victory. The handoff, it's Eckler. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. They may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them passive, has it? I mean, they've, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback and the passer. Sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in a running game, and they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the holes, took away the football.
Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 36 yards on the play. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Going on the ground with Eckler, and he stopped immediately there. He was brought really designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to throw up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Beautifully. Their defenders stayed home and they'll stop him behind the line. The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. On third down, here's Eckler. And an alley to run. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done. But, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for him, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Geno Atkins, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for the Giants, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile.